Recently I watched Visual D which made me obsessed with drifting which is why I wanted to make my very own drifting game similar to Absolute Drift which I'll be using as my inspiration. And to make things interesting I'll be speedrunning this game in one hour as a beginner with little experience. Now I spent the first 10 minutes setting up the Unity project and looked around for some free assets that I can use in my game. Which is when I found this Unity package that included a free car model along with a control strip and drift particles. Immediately this made the whole game development process easy as all the hard work had already been done for me. With 15 minutes remaining I wanted to make a basic menu screen. I chose the title Drift Haven which just randomly popped in my head and a quick search revealed that there wasn't any game with that name so I decided to stick with it. Then I decided to make a basic background for my menu where I added the car model and the title. However, it looked unfinished, so I added some cone models on the other side. Then to finish off the main menu, I added a play button which would take you to the next level when pressed. By the time I had done this, I had roughly 40 minutes remaining to work on the main level. As I had very little time left, I decided to make a simple course where the player can choose what to interact with. I started off by finding some more assets of Sketchfab which I can use, which is where I found this model for a shipping container which I implemented into the level. With time quickly counting down, I let my creativity take over, with the main attraction of the level being this, where the player can interact with the cones and its physics. Then I added some more containers with a ramp to increase complexity. An issue from adding the ramp was that the car kept getting stuck, so I quickly added a restart button, which reset the scene completely when pressed. Due to a severe lack of planning, by the time I had done this, I only had five minutes left, so I added another container on the other side as it was looking empty and realized that I forgot the box colliders, which I managed to add just in time. Overall, I am very happy with the progress. And with that said, here's the drift game I made after one hour.